So with all the news lately with Samsung devices coming out, you may have forgot about the new tablet by Lenovo or maybe not even realized what they've been doing recently. I mean, if there's a company that could compete with Samsung when it comes to Android tablets, you've got to put Lenovo right up there. I feel like there's really only one area that Lenovo needs to improve on in order to really start cutting into Samsung sales. So in this video, we're comparing the new Galaxy Tab S8 Plus versus the Tab P12 Pro by Lenovo. I know just by looking at them, you'd think you were seeing double or that both of these were made by Samsung. Normal price for the Tab P12 Pro starts at $699 and then goes up to around $810 with the keyboard included, which wasn't available when I bought mine, unfortunately. Price for the Galaxy Tab starts at $899. The one I got did include the cheaper keyboard, but luckily if you have the older keyboard cover for the Tab S7 Plus, that one's gonna work on this one as well. There's also a couple variations, so pricing is gonna depend on which version you choose. You can get up to eight gigabytes of RAM RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage for both. You can also use a micro SD card for expanded storage as well. Probably one of the biggest and best features of these two tablets is going to be the screen itself. You get a 12.6 inch AMOLED screen, 2560 by 1600 resolution on the Lenovo. You get a 12.4 inch Super AMOLED display on the Galaxy Tab with 2800 by 1752 resolution. And you're going to get 120 hertz refresh rate on both tablets as well. So both screens are going to be pretty large for a tablet and both of these are going to look really good in person. I think everyone's going to enjoy watching movies, playing games, reading, or just browsing online. Regardless of what you do on these two tablets, yeah, they're going to look really good. You get 2160p resolution on YouTube, full HD playback resolution on Netflix, and that's going to be for both tablets. I feel like the screen on Samsung is maybe slightly brighter and has better viewing angles, but it's super close between these two, and it's probably going to be hard to tell from this video. But yeah, they both look really good, have nice contrast, vibrant colors, high resolution, just about everything you would want in a tablet this size. Now these two tablets are pretty much the same dimensions, thickness, specs are very similar. So you would probably think they're going to be very similar battery life, but not in my testing. We're talking over 11 hours battery life on the Tab P12 Pro versus about seven hours in my battery drain test on the Galaxy Tab. Not sure what Lenovo is doing, but yeah, Samsung needs to figure this out. Both tablets will last long enough to get you through the whole day with normal usage, especially if you turn that screen brightness down. But this Lenovo tablet, has got to be one of the longest lasting that I've tested on the channel. So yeah, not too much of a choice here. If you're wanting a tablet with better battery life, you're going to want to go with Lenovo. And I feel like something that's really underrated is you get 45 watt fast charging on both tablets because let's face it, if it wasn't, yeah, these would take a lifetime to charge back up. Now you get a Snapdragon 870 with the Tab P12 Pro, the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor with the Galaxy Tab. Depending on which version you get, the performance is going to be somewhat similar as you can see by the Geekbench testing. If you're looking for high performance in an Android tablet, these two are definitely going to be right up there. The P12 Pro is slightly less powerful, but both tablets are going to be fine for doing most everyday stuff like multitasking with the keyboard and mouse, gaming, some basic video editing, that sort of stuff. Although speaking of video editing, for some reason I can't get Adobe Rush on the Lenovo tablet, but it works fine on the Galaxy Tab. I don't know how many people out there actually use that to edit videos on a tablet. Just something I started to try out recently that I thought you might want to know. But yeah, if you want the more powerful tablet, you're going to want to go with Samsung. Overall though, nice job by both companies when it comes to performance. Gaming is going to be pretty good on both tablets as well. And you'll be able to play a lot of the same games on both. I think most people are going to enjoy gaming on either tablet. Obviously, it depends on what kind of games you play. But games like Asphalt 9, PUBG Mobile performed pretty good in my testing. If you're using a controller, these are actually really good. If you're going to be using the touchscreen, it definitely can be a little more challenging to reach certain parts on the screens, especially compared to a smaller 10 to 11 inch tablet. When it comes to software, Lenovo is on Android 11, Samsung is on Android 12 as of this video. There's actually things I like about both. 
when it comes to the software and you're going to get a somewhat similar experience between the two but it's probably going to come down to personal preference on which is better for you you're also going to get the s pen included with the galaxy tab and the precision pen 3 comes with the tab p12 pro both work pretty good overall you're going to notice the tip on the precision pen sort of reminds me of the apple pencil even though the design is pretty much identical to the s pen both pens are actually pretty good for note taking drawing pretty much anything that you would normally do with a pen but i feel like the s pen is just a little more refined than the precision pen it has a little bit better low latency and i just prefer the softer tip but obviously that's going to be a personal preference on which one you like better i'm just glad to see lenovo actually including their pen this time instead of having to guess which one of theirs is going to work with which tablet uh, because yeah they make a lot of different pens Nice thing is you can use a mouse and keyboard to be a little more productive. You've got Samsung DeX on the Galaxy Tab and then productivity mode with Lenovo. Although I sort of prefer how Samsung does things a little bit better. Either way, great options to have on tablets to make them feel a little bit closer to a regular laptop if that's what you're looking for. Plus you can also connect both of these tablets. Plus you can actually use both of these tablets as a secondary display, which is also a nice feature to have. I'm not sure if I would use it that much, but hey, more options, the better, right? Small difference here. You get the fingerprint scanner on the power button for the Tab P12 Pro and then built right into the display on the Galaxy Tab. Luckily, both feel like they're pretty reliable. Again, that's gonna come down to personal preference. One area where the Galaxy Tab is gonna beat the Tab P12 Pro is gonna be software updates. From what I've seen, this Lenovo tablet is gonna be supported until the end of 2024, which is pretty respectable for an Android tablet. But Samsung has announced they'll give you four years of software updates, five years of security updates, which that's gonna be hard to beat unless you have something like a Chromebook tablet. And this is one area that if Lenovo starts matching the software support that you're going to get from Samsung, I feel like they could really start pulling customers away from Samsung. Another nice feature you get with both tablets is going to be a quad speaker setup with Dolby Atmos. These are going to be some of the best sounding when it comes to tablets. That's just going to make gaming, watching movies, anything with audio on these two tablets are just going to sound really nice. Here's a quick audio test just to give you an idea of what to expect from each. Cameras are getting a lot better on tablets than what they used to be, and that's gonna be the case with these two. On Samsung, you've got their new auto framing feature for the front-facing camera. Now, don't get me wrong, these aren't gonna be nearly as good as even a mid-range or flagship smartphone, but they're still gonna get the job done with an eight megapixel front-facing camera on the P12 Pro, 12 megapixel front-facing for Samsung, and then you get 13 megapixel rear-facing camera on both tablets. They also add an extra wide-angle lens on both tablets there as well. I feel like Samsung might have the slight advantage here when it comes to cameras, especially if you're gonna wanna use these for Zoom meetings or video conference calls. But here's a few samples of each just to give you an idea of what to expect.
So that's about all the time I have for this video. Hopefully this gave you a little closer look at the new Galaxy Tab S8 Plus and the P12 Pro from Lenovo. Overall, these are really good tablets and Lenovo keeps getting better and better, I feel like each year. And like I said, if they can do a better job at software updates, I feel like they're gonna start competing directly with Samsung. And I really like what I see so far from Lenovo. But overall, you can't really go wrong with either of these tablets. And it may just come down to personal preference or if some of these categories are a deal breaker, it may just come down to hey I want the tablet with better battery life so yeah there's just a lot of things to think about when comparing these two but but overall nice job from Samsung and Lenovo on these two larger tablets So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.